Better known as the witty and sarcastic Chandler Bing from the legendary sitcom Friends, Matthew Perry is an American-Canadian of many talents. He's an actor, comedian, screenwriter, playwright, and executive producer. Friends is widely considered as one of the greatest shows of all time, and it's no secret that its six leads, one of which was Perry, became international stars with the sitcom's raging popularity. At its peak, the show recorded over 30 million viewers. Even today, the show remains a hit with the younger generation's career. The Early Days Matthew Perry was born in Williamstown, Massachusetts, and raised in Ottawa, Ontario. When he was 15, Perry wanted to pursue acting and moved from Ottawa to L.A. He enrolled in the Buckley School and studied improv at L.A. Comedy. But much disappointment was in store for Perry before he made it big. His earlier screen debuts in TV series Second Chance, Growing Pains, Sydney, and Home Free, and the 1988 film A Night in the Life of Jimmy Reardon failed to make a mark. Perry was desperate for something to work. Years later, in a 2002 interview with the New York Times, he said he wanted to be famous so bad there was steam coming out of his ears. In another interview, he also said he needed the money desperately. Perry's wish obviously came true. He bagged the role of Chandler Bing in 1994, which also initially didn't seem like it was going to work out. The actor wanted to audition for Friends, which was then titled Six of One, but Marta Kaufman and David Crane didn't consider him because of his commitment to the pilot LAX 2194. Perry was ecstatic to land the role of Chandler. In an interview with Entertainment Daily, he said it felt like the part was made for him. While Friends would go on to be the epitome of Perry's career as an actor, it would also bring in the darkest time of his life. Only a few years into success, he struggled with substance abuse, and he was unable to get clean for a long time. The coming years brought several trips to hospitals and rehab facilities as his life continued to spiral out of control. Keep watching to know how he managed to not only get clean, but help others struggling with addiction. And before we move on, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you're enjoying this video. Substance Abuse Friends' popularity also brought in fame, or should we say the very pinnacle of fame. Perry once noted that the six of them were, quote, everywhere. But his joy was short-lived, as only a few years later he was struggling with alcoholism. It's sad because as he was the cause of millions of people's laughter, his personal life was falling apart. In a BBC interview, he said his problem was so bad he didn't remember three years of the show, sometime between the third and sixth seasons. Perry's problems didn't end at alcohol. The actor had a jet ski accident in 97 when he was prescribed Vicodin, and after that he was just as dependent on pills as he was on alcohol. In a 2002 interview, he acknowledged although he didn't intentionally try to get high on pills, he liked how they made him feel from the very start. For a while, Perry could sustain two lives simultaneously, one where he went on set and cracked jokes, and the other where he came home and continuously struggled with substance abuse. But eventually, his body started showing signs. He lost 20 pounds. If you binge watch Friends even today, you can tell Chandler's appearance changes drastically from season to season not only in terms of weight, but in his face as well. Perry went to rehab in the Hazelden Betty Ford facility in Minnesota for 28 days in 1997, but the trip didn't keep him clean for too long. By 2000, he was hospitalized at the Cedar sinai Medical Center in LA. The cause? Pancreatitis as a result of alcohol abuse. The condition is life-threatening, and yet the close call didn't snap Perry out of the circle of alcohol abuse. He called this a very dark time, two stints of rehab and one of hospitalization, and yet he was downing pills and a quart of vodka every day. The day Perry was discharged from the hospital, he crashed his Porsche into a house, which was fortunately empty. He wasn't high or drunk that day, which just shows how out of control he was. Friends and Family Almost everyone on set was worried about Marta Kaufman, the co-creator of Friends, also said it was terrifying to watch someone you care about hurting. Perry admitted he wasn't ready to hear it, and the drive to become sober needed to come from within. It's not something others can guide you on. Despite his major drinking problem, he had a code of sorts to never drink on set. While it was commendable of him to maintain some form of professionalism, it helped very little. The effects of his drinking definitely showed on set and on screen. Perry was hung over a majority of the time, but managed to pull through the shoots. It got worse before it got better. When Perry was shooting Friends and serving Sarah simultaneously, his body was on the verge of giving up. He was always sleepy and had the shakes at work. 
Finally, on February 23, 2001, with some form of realization finally striking home, Perry called his parents for help. In his own words, he didn't get sober because he should, but because he felt he was going to die the next day. Thirteen days of shooting were still left for serving Sarah when Perry left for L.A. His parents enrolled him into a different rehab facility, and he reappeared almost two and a half months later. Once back, he finished shooting serving Sarah and came back to friends. Kaufman was happy to have him back, clean and healthy, when the last season's shoot began. The Road Ahead Perry once said you can't solve a 30-year drug problem in 28 days. Likewise, the actor was on his way to a meaningful life without alcohol and drugs, but it wasn't going to be easy. One of the problems Perry faced is the constant scrutiny of his personal problem by the masses. He accepts he's a very private person. He had to make sure he didn't stray from sobriety. Sometime later, he established Perry House, a 5,500-square-foot sober living facility for men in Malibu. Although he sold the facility a couple years later, he still committed to helping others who struggle with substance abuse. He won the 2015 Phoenix Rising Award for helping others beat addiction. To date, he suffers from health problems as a result of his lifestyle from the years before. For instance, in 2018, he suffered from a three-month-long case of gastrointestinal perforation. In an interview with People, he accepted he couldn't recover entirely after living the life he lived for as long as he did. Matthew Perry has led a difficult life, full of highs and lows. The fact that he has no memory of almost three years of his life shows how deep his substance abuse problem really was. Fortunately, he's managed to change his life for the better. He's been clean for a long time, which is extremely commendable, considering the path back wouldn't have been easy. Who was your favorite Friends character? Let us know in the comments section. And if you enjoyed watching, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content.